Hello and welcome to my weekly video and podcast. My name is Sonia Nannan and I help my clients show up authentically and share their voice with confidence with their audience. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the fact that you cannot not communicate. This phrase has been coined by Paul Watzlawick, an Austrian communication expert. And the, what it means that you cannot not communicate is that we are always communicating. So you are communicating through your clothes, through the language, the way you speak, you're communicating through body language, the way you carry yourself, the way you look at people, whether you look people in the eye, whether you look away when you're speaking, or when somebody's speaking, um, whether your voice is soft or loud, whether you're speaking very fast or very slowly. So there are ways you are communicating something to someone. It's usually subconsciously. Subconsciously, you get some information of the person. And the thing is, when we are nervous, we give subconsciously, we give the information that we're not sure about ourselves. We're not sure about the content. We're not sure about ourselves being a leader or thought leader. And we feel like we're lying, right? Because we don't feel confident, but we have to show up confidently. So we feel like we're lying. And it is a process to get to a place where you feel like, you know, I'm not lying. This is actually fine, you know, for me to show up. It's also fine for me to be nervous, you know, this is who I am. This is part of who I am. I'm not only one side of me. I'm a lot of different sides of me. So there is this notion also that you have to talk a certain way, right? You have to talk slowly and with a low voice and take up space. Yes, that's all true. That does convey more confidence. But ultimately, the thing that's going to help you most to become confident as a speaker is to connect to your authentic voice, is to connect to your body, connect to your breath, connect to who you really are rather than trying to fulfill some requirements of what would be perceived as confident. Because the thing is, you can never check all the boxes and it's just so much work to check all the boxes, right? To rehearse, to make it this way, to uh, speak slowly, to speak extremely, um, I don't know, to stay concise, to know exactly what you're saying. It's all a lot of work. Whereas when you connect to yourself, you feel confident with who you are, you're connected to your body. All of these things kind of click into place automatically. Okay. So I want to give you today a an exercise that you can do to be more in tune with your own voice, with your natural voice, with your authentic voice. And that is to, and I've showed this a lot of times, but it, it never gets old and it's always true, <laughs> to take a moment before you speak, to always take a moment to connect to your voice, connect to your breath. You can close your eyes. And just allow yourself, allow yourself to take up space, allow your voice to come, allow your breath to breathe, allow yourself to breathe, allow yourself to let go of expectations, of things you have to fulfill, of requirements, and connect To your core. The sun has come up. <laughs> the sun has come out. <laughs> Yay. So um, I hope this was helpful. If it was, then uh, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you would love to work on sharing your voice more authentically, more confidently on video or in front of a live audience, I would be very happy to support you in that journey. 
feel free to book a free discovery call on my website sonyanenen.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram and on Facebook and uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my podcast. Thank you so much for listening and for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video and in my next podcast.